Welcome to Tally Learning Hub. In this session, you will learn checkbook management in Tally Prime. Using Tally Prime, you can maintain multiple checkbooks and manage check through their life cycle, from issue to reconciliation, with the help of the check register. Let's start with checkbook configuration. To configure checkbooks from Gateway of Tally, press C to create a new bank ledger. If you already have a bank ledger, press A for Alter, Ledger, select your bank ledger, set to Yes to set or alter checkbooks. Here you need to mention the check range along with the checkbook name. Mention the starting name of the check and then the last number of check in the book. Number of checks will be auto-filled. Next, specify the checkbook name. It can be based on usage or it can be department-wise, like owner, manager, accounts team, etc. Next, let's mention the details of another checkbook. Specify the from number. Here is a tip for you. Instead of specifying the to number, you can alternatively enter the number of checks. The to number will be captured automatically. Mention the checkbook name. Likewise, you can specify the details for multiple checkbooks for a single bank. Press Enter to move forward. Ctrl plus A to accept the ledger. Press Escape and come back to Gateway of Tally. Next, let's record a payment voucher and learn how to use the checkbooks. Press V for vouchers. Press F5 for payment. Select the bank ledger. Next, select the ledger against which the payment is made. Enter the amount. Press Enter until you get this bank allocation screen. By default, check as a transaction method will be selected. Next, you can see that the check range and instrument number is auto-selected. You can press backspace to see the other checkbooks and select the one that suits your need. Press Enter to move forward. Mention the narration if required. Enter and accept the voucher. Press P to print check. For the subsequent transactions, Tally Prime will automatically select the next available check number from the checkbook. Next, let us view the check register report. To view the check register report, press Alt plus G for go to, type and select check register. Using this report, you can view, search and track your check details. To quickly locate a check, press Alt plus Q for quick search. You can search or locate with different search parameters such as check number, favoring name, amount, etc. Press Escape to go back to report. Press Enter on the bank to view checkbook-wise details. To see even more details, press Enter on the check range. Here you can see the check number-wise details of transactions along with the check status. Press F4 to toggle between different check ranges. Next, let's use one of the available checks to issue a blank check. To issue a blank check, press spacebar to select the check number. Press Alt plus S for alter status. Select blank check. Select the party ledger. Press enter till you see the bank allocation screen. Mention the bank details. Press enter and accept the voucher. Press P to print the check details. Now you can see that the status of check is updated as blank check. Similarly, you can also issue a cancel check. To issue a cancel check, select the check number by pressing spacebar, press Alt plus S for alter status and select cancel check. Mention the date and remarks. Enter and press Buy to accept. Now the check number is updated as cancelled check. You can use Option in the side menu and F12 to change and add more details in the report. That's it. Here is a quick recap of things we learned today. Configuring multiple check ranges in checkbooks. Recording transactions using checkbook. Viewing check register report. 
issuing blank and cancelled check.